guy thinks I'm really weird. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Bad life decisions. So, what are the important details that you need to know? Well, I've heard quite a few people say no one ever gets that exchange rate unless they're like an investment bank on Wall Street. But... Hey Tangerinis! We are fulfilling a video request today. It's something a lot of you guys have asked us to talk about. And it is Mexico, Mexico Money Madness! madness. <laughs> We want to yell that from the streets, but there's people, so... <laughs> <laughs> this video is all about money and banking in Mexico. How we go about doing it. Yeah, so before we came to Mexico, we really had no idea how we were going to handle it. We were at first going from bank to bank to bank, asking what their conversion ratio was from US dollars to pesos, and we thought, are we going to have to carry an obscene amount of cash with us in order to like avoid all the ATM fees, and generally, what are we going to do about using credit cards and different things like that. So we'll be talking about all those things and more in today's video, per your guys' questions and requests. So, as US citizens ourselves, it is is pretty much impossible for us to open a bank account anywhere else in the world. Foreign banks will not deal with U.S. citizens unless you have a crap ton of money. There's just too many regulations that come with having you as a customer. So you have to come up with other solutions. So stick around in this video. We're going to be sharing towards the end how to be able to have banking, be able to do your banking in Mexico without ATM fees, without foreign transaction fees. This is the solution that we figured out after hours and hours and hours of research. So hopefully this saves you guys a lot of time. Just as a heads up on this, we don't get any referral fees or bonuses or anything from sharing all this information. We're just doing this to hopefully help you guys out and save you some money and time and frustration in regards to banking here in Mexico. So in the beginning we thought that our best option might be to just get out a crap ton of pesos in the U.S. from our bank and bring it with and hope just, it didn't get stolen. Yeah. So we were thinking it wouldn't really be a viable option to be constantly getting money out of the ATM here because the ATM charges a fee, there's a fee that our bank charges, and there's then the there's... Conversion. Yeah, then you probably get a terrible conversion rate, and then like to bring a bunch of US dollars here and uh, convert it at a currency exchange, you're going to be getting a terrible rate. So we were looking into what other options there are. Bad life decisions. No, I just wanted a sip. Hey, no! <laughs> so ultimately, after doing tons of research and comparison shopping and making calls to banks and looking up stuff online, what we ended up going with, because it was by far the best option available, was Charles Schwab Investor Checking. And we're going to tell you why. The reason number one why we picked Charles Schwab is because, compared to all the other banks, it is the most fun to say. Schwab! <laughs> I think I'm really weird. <laughs> Shut up! No, <laughs> no I was kidding. <laughs> but seriously, number one priority was ATMs. The best way for you to get cash here is to take it out of an ATM, regardless of whether you have Schwab or not. But the benefits of having this particular bank account is not only Schwab doesn't charge you any ATM fees, Schwab! At, <laughs> at the end of each month, they refund all the ATM fees any other bank charged you. So you can pretty much go to any ATM, it doesn't matter, Santander, Benorte, Benorte? I don't know how to say that. HSBC. HSBC, any bank you want, and no matter what their fee is, they will refund it at the end of the month. So this past month I got $5 back at the end of the month, for ATM fee refunds, the month before was 10 bucks, the month before that was like 20 bucks. So it's worth it. It'll add yes. up very quickly otherwise. And this way we don't have to worry about taking out a huge amount of pesos and having that, you know, somewhere hidden in our apartment or worry about someone stealing it or anything like that. We can take out as much as we need at any time and it doesn't really matter. Charles Schwab refunds any fees that you incur. Although this particular factor doesn't really interest me that much and I don't know a whole lot about it, Charles Schwab does offer 20 times the amount of interest that you would get from another bank, for instance Bank of America, where I was getting about three pennies per month for basically no matter how much I have in the bank, you might be getting like 25 cents instead. So that's It'd pretty be 60 cool. 60 cents. Okay, that's my math for you guys. <laughs> Next important and really cool detail is that there are no 
transaction fees. So with your average credit card or debit card, you're gonna be charged approximately 3% per transaction, no matter how big or small it is. And with Charles Schwab, there is nothing. 3% might not sound like too awfully much, but consider if you're spending about a thousand US dollars per month, that's $30 a month or $360 a year. So it does add up. Did you just math? I just math. <laughs> <laughs> and really important to us was the no account minimums and no maintenance fee. Almost every other bank charges a monthly maintenance fee unless you have a certain amount of cash in the bank. With this one, even if you only have $20 in the bank, you won't be charged any maintenance fees at all. Absolutely no maintenance fees at all. <laughs> so what are the important details that you need to know? Well, one, we would both recommend probably doing this when you're in the United States versus after you've already come to Mexico. We're not entirely sure if it's possible to sign up for an account once you're in Mexico. It is, you might be able to, but we definitely know the process is super easy when you have a US address where they can send the card and a US number that you can call and verify your account and all that good stuff. So if you look up on Google what the peso to dollar exchange rate is, it might be something like 20 pesos to the dollar right now. Well. I've heard quite a few people say no one ever gets that exchange rate unless they're like an investment bank on Wall Street, but... What you can get is Visa's exchange rate, which is pretty freaking close. So, and with Charles Schwab, they offer you that exchange rate, which means instead of going to a money exchange place where if it's 20 pesos to one US dollar, you would actually end up getting like 17 or 18 pesos to every dollar and you're losing quite a bit. If you're getting Visa's rate, it's something like 19.98 pesos per dollar. So it's not that much at all. Hopefully we answered all of the questions you guys have had about banking in Mexico and money management, what we do while we're here. It's pretty straightforward once you have a Charles Schwab account. I don't think we've really encountered any issues or extra fees or hidden surprises or anything like that. Can you think of anything? No, nothing like that. They've been great. Yeah, and the customer service is even great. There was, I think, a time where there were some confusing charges on my account, and I got someone who called me to handle it with me personally. Very polite and professional, so we would recommend if you're looking for something, some way to manage your money in Mexico, this is a great option. And just to reiterate, we are not getting anything from them. We're not being sponsored by Charles Schwab. We just know that this is a great, safe way to do banking, and so we thought we'd share all these details with you guys. Well, if you appreciate this information and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to follow us on social media. You can find all those links down below. And <laughs> gong that bell. No, you, you need more emphasis on gong that bell. <laughs> oh, I thought the laugh. You meant the laugh. <laughs> okay, there's no one. Thank goodness. <laughs> gong that bell if you want to be notified the next time we put out a new video. And we will see you in the next one.